tell us the stories. Corner. Yeah, church. church. Uh, Bible verse one. Oh, I never noticed it the first time around. Phelps, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Uh, take a look at the samples on the bench. Okay, what do you got for me? The shoe prints? Size eights. Very similar to the impressions from the Henry case. Uh, now, who do we remember who got caught in bloody size eights? I think we have our bird. Anything else? Oh, no. Probes? It's always something stronger. Probably that one. What are the normal uses for that kind of rope? On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. Hmm. So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. Well, the only other option is the high school. I mean, the phone icon is showing, so... I'm really curious. Operator, give me dispatch. One moment, detective. Oh, get wrong. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Are there any messages for me? Yes, Detective. A green 1946 coupe registered to Mrs. Hugo Muller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School in Plainfield. What? Captain Donnelly wants you to head down there immediately to take the school janitor statement. Thanks for your help. That's an interesting turn. I feel like Rusty's points are correct for once, but... You know the way. You can drive. Bye. I'm curious Where are now. we headed? It's not exactly the happiest of places, the coroner's office. Carruthers is a good man. Professional. Diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, then. How so? No, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. You been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. So, this is interesting. We're at a high school now. And there's the car. This is the car? Yes, sir, detective. Have you looked it over? Superficially. I was told to wait for you guys. Thanks. We'll take it from here. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m.? Mm. We keep it a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. This oh. was the same man? I don't know, sir. I mean, I'd like to say yes, but truth is, it was pretty dark. All right. Tell me about this man you've been having trouble with. He hangs near the playground, tries to befriend the children. He was around here last night before the dance. Is he violent? Yes, sir. I would say so, yes. There's the son of a bitch now. Hey, you! Go, Phelps. I'll take the car and see if All I can right, you do that. I like chasing people because we've only done it a handful of times today.
This guy is not that fast. He's gonna corner himself, isn't he? Oh, it's staircase. I just crash. Dang, he's now taking off. He wants a five star. God damn. I mean, I want a five star everything. That's the plan. There he is, officer. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna chase him down. Oh, come on, let me tackle him now. I'm in range. There he is. See him? Yeah! There we go. Super fast mode! <laughs> your name who's asking we can do this the easy way or the hard way name's Eli Rooney you've been in trouble with the law before Eli some what are you doing around here I like to keep an eye on the children strictly paternal is it Eli don't sass me boy a woman was abducted here last night Eli and murdered and I would love to make you for that you oaky motherfucker well I wouldn't know nothing about that a woman you say I like him a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. Ooh, that's the first. You're under arrest, Eli. You are in very deep trouble. Why bother with the paperwork, Eli? I'm going to take out my gun, and I'm going to count to five. Huh? Let's see how fast you can run now. Hang on a goddamn minute. I found that thing in the parking lot. Get some backup out here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. I'll tell them we got a kitty raper coming in. They can roll out the red car. What? How did that thing get here so quickly? He didn't call it in. Wait, there's the murder weapon. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. The overalls are stenciled H.M. Muller is a mechanic. Mm. I wonder what Eli does for a living. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. I don't know how important that could be. Call Central. Great. Okay. The question is now 50-50, but I feel like... Why don't I just get both? I'm gonna go to the game wall right here. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, Detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Thanks, ma'am. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car. He had her jewelry. The DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. Yeah. And we let Mueller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass for now. All right, so... You better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. We'll work... Are they ready? Molar's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. Well, so of course we're gonna do the long way because I like, I like the story. Guy gave his wife a tap. Here's where we stand, Hugo. 
Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Did you have boy? I believe him. Believe what? It's rabbit's blood. A guy at work brought him in, and I helped him skin him. Okay. Let's talk about the braided rope. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. I mean, I feel like that's very truthful, but he's missing something. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier control. But that's the rope you... All right. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. That's a no. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Why don't you just go with me here, because you know where I know where the overalls are. Green overalls, bloodstained, with the initials HM, found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator, too? Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. Okay, but... You're lying, Hugo. You're going to have to come clean on this. You got no proof. Watch this be about the rabbits. Watch this be about the rabbits. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A uh, Chrysler oh, no. Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tie iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. <laughs> but we're going to leave the interrogation. The thing was, he was a really nice guy. I felt we... loud to tolerate him. Yes. We leave the interrogation here. Um, we're going to follow our main man here to teach us how it's done. Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, folks, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. Wait. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? Alright, so... Let's talk about the footprints in the camera. What size boot do you wear, Eli? Kind of like anything I get my hands on. I'm wearing 11s. Mm, I'm gonna say no. You're maybe 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, tops. And you wear size 11s? I don't think so, Eli. That no, might be that. on the large side. Maybe 10s. Maybe 8s. Now that I come to think of it. Why punish children with your iniquity, Eli? You think I was never punished? You must know what you're doing is evil. Well, son, nobody's perfect. All right, so psychologically speaking, people who were abused as children sometimes learn the same pattern from becoming an adult. So, I can argue, I mean, he's still bad. I'm not arguing for him. I'm just saying trauma causes issues. All right, what's your place for your appointment? You're down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. 
means you failed, so what's up? This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. Wait, what? You can't misplace big yellow letters HM out front. They give you any workwear you like? Sure. Green okay. coveralls. Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. Wait. All this is starting to make sense. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talking about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. I, I, I believe him. Farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping. Am I right? I prefer braid. Tie oh, hitch and braid. Stays tight. See, he really is it. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. Ain't done nothing like that. Uh... You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things. And you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. It, it's him. It's freaking him. Eli Rooney, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Deirdre Muller. You don't want to put me back in the stir that badly, boy. You go ahead and try. I'll beat that rap. I ain't a killer. Phelps, Galloway, congratulations are at hand. Drink, boys? I think you'll receive a commendation for this one, gentlemen. In the meantime, I'll speak to the DA about expediting the passage of the case. We need swift and merciless justice for poor Deirdre. So, yes, Ewa was... It, it's it's kind of hard to believe, but there is one thing I did screw up on, and it just hit me. There is a novel in this case, but what's cool about novels is you can always go back and get them in free play, except otherwise mentioned. So we'll come back to that eventually. But for now, next time on L.A. Noir, we'll move on with our future. We'll see you then.